Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Fallout 4 video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get a really cool set of rare power armor for absolutely free. And also where you can find a backup set of power armor. Let's say you lost it or one of your pieces got destroyed. It's a great way where you can kind of like refill your parts and get a brand new suit. All right, so this rare power armor that we're gonna be getting today is located at the Adam Katz Garage. Now the Adam Katz Garage is kind of like this greaser hangout. It's located really south on the map, kind of on this island. And when you go there, you'll notice that there will be a bunch of guys in either greaser attire or this really retro looking power armor with red, orange, and yellow flames. It looks really, really cool. And that's the power armor that we are gonna be getting today. So when you first enter the camp, they're not gonna be as friendly to you as you would have imagined. They're thinking you're there because you want to take their power armor, which is actually kind of ironic because that's the only case I would have visited these guys. Uh, but I still thought that it was pretty funny. That's the way they reacted. You have to do a few quests for them. One of them involves switching a water pipe out literally takes like five seconds. You don't even have to fight anyone. You get to the island, you exchange the part, and that's pretty much it. Very, very simple. Now, when you fast travel back to the Adam Katz garage, they will be impressed with your performance, but they will still require you to do a little bit more, which is totally understandable. And in the middle of that conversation, a bunch of gunners will appear, and you have to fend off the garage from the gunners. That is a very, very easy task as well. It should be a bunch of regulars with maybe one legendary that decides to show up. But since you've got the help of a bunch of guys in power armor, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. And as soon as that is complete, they will initiate you as a member of the Adam Katz family, which doesn't get you a lot other than the title of Adam Katz member. And I think he gives you like some sort of greaser jacket, but we're not here for a greaser jacket. We're for that here for that sick power armor that those guys are wearing. That's the main objective of what we want today. Now you actually have the option to buy the power armor. These guys are kind of cheap. They don't give it to you for free. And the paint job is almost $8,000. That is way, way, way too expensive. Do not buy this. Even though it might be cheaper for you, don't buy this at all. I don't think it's worth it. You can also buy the parts individually. So what the paint job does is allows you to put it on any power armor suit you might have, which is kind of cool, but I still don't think it's worth 8,000 caps. And then you can buy the armor individually, which will give you the cool paint job, uh, but it's still a little pricey. We're trying to do, get this for free. Now there's two ways that I was able to do this. One of them is that I found a suit that was left by someone, it was unclaimed, and I just went into crouch mode, hidden, and I basically stole the suit. You can do that if you want. And as long as you do it when you're hidden, no one's gonna get mad at you. Or if you really want to, you can kill one of the guys in the suit and you can take it from them. After you like are initiated as an Adam Katz family member, there's no more quests. I literally went around and talked to everyone to make sure that I wasn't going to be ending any quest line prematurely. You couldn't do a thing. You couldn't do a thing. So if you want to kill them, you can and you can get the suit of power armor for yourself. Now, if you actually buy the paint job, this is what it will say. It says, with all authority of the Adam Katz, this highly official certificate grants the right to use the Adam Katz patented custom paint job. Whoever gets their mitts on this certificate has the rights to use this design, so don't lose it, knucklehead. And the Adam Cat paint job itself actually does some pretty cool things for your power armor. It reduces action point costs for sprinting, as well as increases charisma with all pieces painted. So if those are two things you're interested in, making your action points a little bit more uh, worthwhile and increasing your charisma, you can choose to buy this very, very expensive paint job. And overall, it does look pretty cool, so I can't complain really with the price, especially if it is rare. It's got like a reddish finish with obviously the yellow and kind of limey green, red, and orange flames, which I do think looks pretty cool. So again, if you want to spend 8,000 caps, you can, or you can take the cheapo approach like I did and just shoot them up and take one of their armors, which was a very easy approach, and that's what I did. And while doing this quest, I actually stumbled upon another set of power armor, so I thought I would include it in this video. It's kind of located on this barge or this military ship uh, that's like half capsized, and there's a full suit of T-51 power armor 
only hidden behind a novice lock. So I was actually missing a few pieces of my suit. Either they had gotten broken. So I just decided to open this up and snag some of the pieces from this T51. I took the fusion core as well. So if you want to take the full suit, you can. But I already have like three or four suits scattered around the map. So I didn't think it was worth it to have another suit of T51 armor. So I really just took the parts that I needed. And that was really great. So if you're looking for an extra suit, that's where you can go. And if you want the Adam Katz camo, you can get that as well. So anyways, hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. I thought the armor looks pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be awesome. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Fallout 4 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.